Oh, I've been recording on it. I don't know why. Oh, I, I've i made some weird recordings probably, because I've been doing maths. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Slumbert and welcome back to Symmetria episode 11. I've started recording earlier this time because I was doing some maths and I have my recording key bound to my multiplier key. But as you can see, we are here at our underground hole and the maths I've been doing are for these walls. Um, can I find my blocks real quick? I can't. So, uh, for the uh, for the walls, we're gonna need very roughly, like my, I can't stress enough how rough my maths are on this, but we're gonna need about five stacks, or five stacks, five shulker boxes full of dark prismarine and five shulker boxes full of red ne nether brick. And then also two shulker boxes of, uh, no, not two, uh, one shulker box of magma, a, uh, a shulker box of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Prismarine, which we technically have, and then a shulker box full of this stuff, crimson stem and warp stem. So, um, for a lot of the a couple of those we've been making good progress, but I don't think I have any magma whatsoever. I'm gonna have to check now what I have recorded and what I have, have not recorded, but um, what I probably haven't recorded is that I went in between episodes on a bit of a shopping uh, trip. I bought a crossbow because my old bow was uh, all lame and lumpy and I wanted a less lame, less lumpy crossbow bow. I got a crossbow and our, uh, what's it called, leggings uh, were uh, just diamond with them breaking and they were almost breaking. So uh, I bought some leggings as well. And I think that's everything. I really hope my whole explanation about the walls and my maths are recorded because uh, then otherwise I'm just gonna stop for today and try again tomorrow. Oh, also a quick side note here. Um, I'm normally playing the game when I'm recording in full screen mode, but I don't actually like playing in full screen mode when I just play the game normally. Uh, so I've been uh, doing it like this where I'm uh, just in a, I don't, what's not full screen mode. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope that it won't interfere too much with how the video ends up looking. Uh, if it looks like really bad, then we'll switch back, but uh, I want this is out for a moment. So we are back at the Guardian Farm, and as you can see at the side here, uh, it's about halfway finished. Um, yeah, so I was gonna make a nice time lapse of the building of the thing, but then I didn't really feel like making a time lapse, so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna build one and then we'll use that as a um, uh, as a template for how to build the rest and then we'll do that one, but then when I was building I was on groove, so I started building the other one immediately. And now we only have two left, but well, as you can see from me walking around here, it's working fairly nice. Um, yeah, so you can either just wait for them to kill themselves by uh, entity cramming or you can stand here with a sword and hit them with your uh, pointy stick. So, um, yeah, we're gonna build these other ones as well. And since I didn't do it for the last ones, let's do these ones in a time lapse.
the rest of the farm has been completed and honestly it, it looks a lot bigger actually than I had expected when I was setting up these things I thought it would be very small but as you can see it's working very well and while we were building it uh, it filled up half this chest which is uh, well it's good because it means that it's working of course but it's also probably means that I'm gonna need a bigger uh, storage system if I wanna AFK here. We are back here at uh, my never as um, I believe and I'll check real quick that here yes backdraft sells redstone contraptions and we'll, uh, we'll add our thing to that but um, let me explain real quick first um, oh I should have recorded this at the guardian farm but yeah, the Guardian farm uh, is uh, going well, but uh, I don't have a massive storage system beneath it. And I'm not really uh, good with redstone and uh, storage uh, systems. So what I'm hoping that Backdraft can do for us is build a small little contraption that will burn the cot for us. So that way um, we only get the uh, the stuff that we want. Um, a quick little distraction as uh, this video will be out at the beginning of October, and even though uh, and even though I don't have anything big planned, I do have a small thing that I want to do. So pump pumpkin spice latte. For now this looks well, I uh, think I'm gonna wait until I either hear more from Backdraft about the uh, fish burner or about uh, how that works before I'm gonna make more of a uh, storage system. And we'll kind of leave this be for the time being, as I am afraid it's gonna, if we stay here for too long it's gonna lag out the server. We are back at the garden farm, that's what it's called. And uh, as you can see here, something has changed as I got messaged by Backdraft that he has finished the item filter for the cot. But only the uh, lava still needs to be uh, filled in here. No, that's the opposite of what I want. So um, I'm going to quickly grab some lava, fill this in, and then this place should be relatively afk -able. Let's see if I can find some lava. Not if I can fly. I can hear lava somewhere. Yeah. Be somewhere over here. Yeah, I should be. Oh, perfect. So with that, the farm should basically be complete now. Um, we we'll have to see if the single double chest is uh, enough. I'm not planning that much on uh, a lot of AFK. I'll grab this real quick. Empty this thing out. And I'm gonna sit somewhere. I think you're supposed to like AFK above farms. But for now I'm just gonna sit here. And give it uh, let's say half an hour. And then we'll see uh, how much we have uh, gained. But let me actually check if I see any spawns right now. Because if not then I probably want to be somewhere else. Now, I see, I, I don't think, I think when I'm standing over there, I'm too close to uh, the spawning areas, so they won't spawn. So instead, let's do the thing I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I intended, but we'll just do it like this. So, I'm not sure if this is correct, but in my mind it's, it should be 40 blocks above, and this is, the lowest level here is block 40, 42. So I should probably be somewhere just below 80 to have the maximum of uh, places, so I was probably already too high. So, then this will be our AFK platform for the moment, and after a half an hour or so we'll see how much it, uh, how much we get. So it has been about half an hour. No, 
I'm gonna press F for Gertz in the chat. But um, that's being fairly okay. So there's still the, oh wait, I should actually grab those shock boxes. Um, because there is still the point of not having uh, enough ink sacks for the dark prismarine we'll need. I looked at it and I think we'll need about uh, I believe it was 16 stacks or 15 stacks. One of the two. So uh, we need to get those as well. Um, probably, I'm not sure how expensive they'll be, but I'll probably just buy those. We are back once more at the Guardian Farm. I've been uh, doing some AFKing and then modifying and then AFKing again and then modifying again to the collection system. And from I think this part, this version now works well. Uh, as every time after I uh, came back from everything, there was like a huge pile of items here because the hopper couldn't process everything fast enough. Uh, and I've also expanded the power system here a bit. So yeah, I had to kind of take this sidewood here because this thing is in the way, but I don't dare to move it because if I accidentally like destroy it, then I won't know how it's how to repair it as it were. So um, yeah, we will have to have had to keep it like this uh, for now. But I think uh, now it works a lot better, and um, I think with this we might have an actual yeah shock box full of sea lanterns. Not sure what we're gonna do with that yet um, because I'm gonna need a lot of sea lanterns, but not yet. So. Maybe we'll uh, use those to sell or something like that. Before we end today's episode, I want to show you some uh, stuff uh, uh, that I have been doing off camera as... Um, yeah, I've, I've focused this episode mostly on the Guardian farm over there somewhere. But uh, in the meantime, I've also been doing a lot of different things, mostly resource collecting. Which isn't that exciting, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, that is uh, something that's happening. Um, I'm walking downstairs here, but I don't think there's actually anything that changed much here. Like I did a little bit of digging, but that's uh, that's not that much. Um, but what I also did is I was browsing Reddit, very productive, and on the One Piece Reddit I saw some fan art of like concepts for the uh, red line. If you uh, I'll put a link in the description if you don't know what it is, so you have a bit of a reference image of what I'm referring to. But I was looking at that and I thought um, that looks pretty great for um, for a Minecraft build. So I'm uh, gonna inspire part of my build uh, very much on it. As um, yeah, in the beginning of the season, I was talking about how I want to go with a uh, kind of elemental theme in my. Uh, base and so we have now underground and uh, that area is going to split into a fire area and a water area so what i want to do now is also uh, in the air also make an uh, two floating islands one with a water area and one with a fire area and so this uh this picture is i'm going to use as, uh, a lot of inspiration for the water area of those two and uh, you can see right there if it wants to load in this is where the fire area is going to be. It's a miracle that I survived that. But yeah, so this is going to be where the fire island is going to be. Uh, for the moment, I'm just thinking like a big volcano, but uh, maybe it be will become something different if I find something similar that I didn't expect. Uh, but it looks very cool. And over here, if we fly a little bit in the distance, it load in there. Hey. Oh, that's, yeah, so a bit ago a uh, phantom spawned and I shot an arrow at it and it landed there apparently. But yeah, so here we have a similar sized island for the water area. And yeah, it needs to be a bit higher because when I was building here I thought, okay, y equals 100 is fine, but uh, then I was over there and that was still way too low compared to the mountain next to it. Um, so this one has to go up for a bit, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, so that's, uh, well, progress, at least ID is there. And 
I think with that, it's going to be it for this episode. Um, maybe that I... Well, I will put them before this clip, but maybe that I'll record some stuff uh, more in the uh, Guardian area farm. This has been upgraded a little bit uh, since the last time we saw. Uh, but that's really going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.